Hi, we're a team of students at the University of Ottawa who are part of the U Ottawa CFAGES program. I'm Rachel. I'm Shafiq. I'm Arvin. And I'm Osama. I'm Rachel. In this presentation, we'll explore the characteristics of some proteins we found in bacteriophage John Doe, which was discovered in Ottawa by Kira Heffernan, a member of our faculty. The HFQ protein of E. coli was discovered in 1968. HFQ is known to be a major riboregulatory protein that facilitates cellular RNA-RNA interactions. The helix turn helix motif is an arbitrarily assigned 20 residue sediment segment with a potential consensus sequence of alanine or glycine at position 5, glycine at position 9, and isoleucine or valine at position 15, while the amino acids surrounding these positions can vary. Additional limitations to this consensus sequence are that residues 3 to 8 and 15 to 20 cannot have proline, as that would cause a major kink in the alpha helix and might alter its function, as residues 4 and 15 tend to have no charge, and so they can be buried towards the hydrophobic core. We found two other AZ phages with an HFQ protein and 12 other AZ phages that have the helix turn helix protein. Our objective in this presentation is to explore the functionality of gene 52, which we suspect to be HFQ protein, and investigate the functional differences compared to RNA binding protein. Also to investigate molecular mechanisms of John Doe gene 45 in DNA binding, as well as its potential as a transcriptional repressor involved in triggering lysogeny. John Doe contains unique DNA and RNA binding proteins uh, which we will discuss further. Now, we will provide information regarding our research on John Doe's gene number 52. The method we used to analyze this gene was multi-sequence alignment. Here, we first obtained the protein sequence of John Doe at gene 52. We analyzed John Doe's gene 52 protein sequence using the Orion algorithm. And the picture you can see in the middle is the output of the Orion analysis. We identified one HFQ protein with um, uh, over 90% coverage, and then we aligned their sequences using the cluster omega algorithm. We also performed a literature review on the HFQ protein to identify amino acids important in polymerization and the function of the HFQ. Afterwards, we determined if these amino acids were present in John Doe's protein sequence as well. So to visualize the predicted structure of the HFQ protein, Orion was used. Orion utilizes an algorithm that utilizes other proteins with known structures and a matching sequence to make predictions on the structure of a protein, in this case, of one subunit of pleiotropic transition, translational regulator, HFQ. The result displays a subunit of the HFQ protein that we chose. Each subunit has two alpha helices and five beta sheets. The protein is a homotetramer, which means that there are four identical subunits. These are the results from the multi-sequence alignment of the HFQ protein and John Doe. Only tyrosine 42 was present in both chains, which is the one that you can see highlighted in green. John Doe lacks all of the amino acids required to polymerize HFQ to the homotetramer. However, there is one exception for glutamine 8, where John Doe's sequence is merely misaligned. John Doe also lacks the YKH domain that is required for the function of the HFQ, which you can see in red. All of these point to the conclusion that John Doe is not very similar to the HFQ protein that we found through Orion. So now we move on to the analysis for gene number 45. So in order to understand the potential molecular mechanisms of DNA binding for John Doe gene 45, we used the amino acid sequence encoded by this gene to find homologous proteins, and we compared their amino acid sequences involved in potentiating function through pimol. For John Doe gene 45, the protein that we found to have the highest homology is an RNA polymerase sigma factor chain F, denoted as 60MF underscore F on the protein data bank. If we compare the amino acid sequence of John Doe and 6OMF uh, chain F, we can see that they both have a helix turn helix motif in green near the C terminus. And given their structures are highly similar, according to HH Pred, it is very likely that John Doe will bind to DNA through its helix turn helix motif. 
In addition, our initial analysis for John Doe is that there are two helix turn helix motifs, but it turns out that the upstream motif has a proline at position 16, which is a helix breaker shown in yellow, and theoretically may not have proper function. And you can see the same with Lisa Lika. By looking at the protein DNA interactions in 6 uh, OMF, we see that this protein undergoes hydrogen bonding with the phosphate backbone, as shown in the tan-colored residues. There are also certain residues involved in hydrogen bonding with the bases to ensure the specificity of DNA recognition, such as arginine 299 that forms a hydrogen bond with the guanine nitrogen at position 7. Based on what we observed for John Doe gene 45, we conclude that the C-terminus helix turn helix DNA motif is involved in DNA binding, which mainly occurs through hydrogen bonding with both the phosphate backbone and unique bases to ensure target specificity. Also, based on the multi-sequence alignment results in gene 52, we can conclude that John Doe does not have significant alignment with similar HFQ proteins because the sequence lacks most of the critical amino acids for HFQ. This means that John Doe is in fact unlikely to have HFQ protein function. In terms of future directions, we plan on performing few, uh, further investigations on whether John Doe gene 45 encodes for a transcriptional repressor. More specifically, given that this gene is conserved in 12 of the AZ phages, we aim to incorporate the genome of John Doe into a plasmid, followed by the removal of gene 45, and transfect this gene along with the wild type into Arthrobacter globiformis to assess the possibility of lysogeny. More specifically, if lysogeny is not achieved when gene 45 is knocked out, then it is likely that gene 45 functions as a transcriptional repressor. For John Doe gene number 52, we would also want to perform a molecular dynamics experiment to analyze its 3D structure. With this, we can analyze the structure more carefully and find out how similar or different it is to other HFQ proteins. Uh, that concludes our presentation. Thank you so much for listening to the presentation and have a great day.